Okay, thank you everyone. So all of this will be live. If you'd like to ask a question, please raise your hands and we'll kick off with Graham. Hi Warren. Uh, team selection, let's start with Cameron Wynette. He's fit presumably. Um, what are your thoughts on his capability to start? Not presumably, he is fit. There we go. <laughs> um, so there was no doubt about that. And what are your thoughts about such an inexperienced player? Yeah, there's no, look, just on the injury, uh, the initial um, outlook that we had that he was he was a couple of weeks probably, uh, but the surgeon's come back and said everything's healed perfectly and he's fit and ready to go. And spoke to him uh, end of last week and yeah, if he wasn't you know comfortable and how it was feeling, so he was you know more than happy to be considered for selection. So he's he's trained really well. We've been really impressed with him. He's a tough kid. Um, yeah, it's a great opportunity for him. Tell us a bit about his character to be able to cope with it. Well, there's no pressure on him um, from, from our point of view. It's his first cap, so go out there and enjoy the occasion and just go and do what he's been doing uh, for Cardiff. We've been impressed with his form with them. He's he's confident there. He runs some good lines, got some lovely hands, and he's a young player with a, a big future ahead of him. George North and Gal Thomas? Uh, both of them just haven't trained enough really, they didn't train, take part in training last week and have uh, missed the start of this week so you know, we haven't considered them um, basically because uh, the fact that we've had other players that have been here for training and um, just felt they were a little bit underdone at this stage. Looking at that front row, how much faith do you have in them being able to cope, not just in this game but in the championship? Well, this, the way they've trained and prepared this week, we've been really happy to scrummage well. Um, yeah, it's a big front row we're putting out there. The Leon Brown's 130 kilograms. Corey Domachowski's 125. Uh, Ryan Elias 115. So it's, uh, we've been happy with the way they've uh, trained and prepared. So uh, really, you know, really comfortable and confident they'll do well. Is it a close call at nine? Uh, definitely, yeah. I mean, both two quality nines. Um, Thomas has been playing exceptionally well um, in club rugby. Uh, Gareth, um, you know, gets a nod at this stage, but you know, both of them putting a lot of comp uh, a lot of um, heat in like, each other, and it was a you know definitely a tough call. How close is Mason Grady to being a starter? He's just got to earn his earn his spot at the moment. Uh, he's been playing a lot of rugby on the wing, um, so. He potentially covers us there in that wing and, and centre position. About the roof, am I right in saying you you'd want you, you wanted the roof closed? We always want the roof closed. Why? <laughs> oh, I've been consistent on that in terms of that. I just think it creates a, an unbelievable atmosphere. Uh, we've looked at the weather conditions. The weather conditions at the moment say so it's going to be a bit drizzly on Saturday. So, um, yeah, I just think. Uh, with that roof closed, it's a, it, you know it's, it just adds to the ambience and you know makes it a really special occasion. Why do teams not want it? I've got no idea. You can ask them. Does does it surprise you? No, I mean it's it, the thing about the roof is that I've been consistent always in saying um, you know both teams have to agree for the roof to be closed, and I kind of look at it and say. You know, it's how to, it's our stadium, and we should be able to decide what happens whether the roof's open or closed. So um, that's not my decision to be made. It's it's part of the part of the agreement. But um, yeah, it's not something. Yeah, you know, the decision's been made now, so we don't sort of look at it. We haven't really spoken about it as a squad. We just said to the players that you now the roof's going to be open, and that's that's that we just have to deal with that. Thank you, Warren. Danish. Down for a couple of. Days away, you seem to have your game face on already. But as the game gets closer, do your emotions change at all? Um, I don't think they change really until until the game, uh, until you're warming up. But really now you're just focusing on gaining detail, right? And and um, just finishing off, um, yeah, all the detail. 
Uh, just getting excited now, really, as well, um, in terms of this is our last proper training session. So, just coming to terms with the fact that we're all going to be running out in the Principality in, the, in front of a full crowd. So, yeah, I'm just really excited. A bit more experience in Scotland Pack versus a lot of youth and enthusiasm. Can you make something out of that? Yeah, I don't think it's a bad thing, though. I think, um, similar to what I've experienced on Exeter, youth isn't always a bad thing. Um, boys getting opportunities, maybe. That, that wouldn't have before. Um, so yeah, just really excited to, to see how everyone goes. Warren, where are the key areas for you in this game? Well, it's always up front, isn't it? So, um, look, we were disappointing last year up in Scotland. Uh, we we're aware of that. And as David said, it's, um, you know, we're at home. Um, Scotland haven't won here for a, a long time in Cardiff. And like I said, there's a full stadium. And we've got a responsibility to go out there and, and deliver a performance. And I think the way the, the enthusiasm of this group of players and young players has been exceptional in the last couple of weeks. Uh, you know, I'm really excited about this group that, that we've got and, and building over the next few years with um, some youngsters who I think are really going to grow and develop and, and impress. And when it make his debut, Finn Russell probably has the most variety of kicks of any outside half around. It's an interesting contest. Yeah, I think uh, you know you've got to expect the unexpected from um, from Finn, and uh, you know he, he caused us some problems last year with a number of cross cross field kicks, and the back three have been working hard on that with uh, with Neil Jenkins in terms of trying to negate that that threat that um, obviously we'll have to experience at some stage during the match. Alex, Warren, you've always thrown young guns in with Wales over the years. I mean, what's What's it like for you as a head coach when you do that? Is it nerves, anticipation? Because I guess part of you doesn't know what's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, the thing, the thing is that you can't coach experience, um, and those young players they've got to they, they get out there and and learn from uh, what it's like to be um, playing in front of seventy five thousand people where things are happening happening a little bit quicker than you. You've normally experienced, so yeah, I, I get excited for for the young players and and for us. Um, I like to think that people see us, um, you know, preparing for the Six Nations, but also preparing for the next few years in terms of uh, a squad that we want to to keep together that, and, and a group of youngsters we want to develop, and we think are going to be outstanding players in the next few seasons. And just on George, is it likely that he'll probably be a playing for? Yeah, look, he's he, he's he's ready to go now. So we just we just made that decision. We wanted to select uh, the team early. We named the, the team to the players on Monday to give everyone the best opportunity. And the fact that he hadn't a, he hadn't trained much, um, we could have held on later in the week. But we just wanted to uh, make that call early and give those players the best the best chance in terms of preparing for Saturday. Dad, can you just sum up the, the feeling amongst? The younger guys, you know, who are going to get the chance, you're certainly to go out there on the Six Nations stage. Yeah, well, like I said, it's mainly really excitement, but it's also that that will to do well for each other as well. Obviously, we've grown up with a, with a lot of these boys and come through the 18s and 20s with them, so it's a real feeling of everyone wants to do well for each other. So yeah. Okay. Warren, um, outside pressures, right? Obviously, going up to the Six Nations last year was a pretty tough year. We had the WIU allegations. We had contract disputes this year coming up to the tournament sort of what's it been like this year what what outside pressures have we had has it been easier coming up to the tournament this year well we haven't had those things happening um so much off the field well there's been none of those distractions so um yeah it has been easier it's it's been i think um it's probably building a core of the squad that were involved in the world cup Yes, we've lost a, a considerable amount of experience and players have moved on, but um, it, a lot of teams go through cycles and we're, I think we're at the beginning of a, an exciting cycle with this, this group of players. And I, I couldn't be more happier with how they've trained and prepared um, over the last two weeks. The, the attitudes have been outstanding. They, they've worked, no one's, no one's bitched or moaned about how hard we've worked and that's been a huge positive. And, um, you know, everyone's been uh, vocal and been pushing each other, and you know, been um, incredibly positive in terms of the support for each other. So that's, you know, that's what what excites me about um, going out and said there with a 
you know, a younger group of players. Uh, I think we've got an average age of about 25 in the squad, so it's, it's pretty young, but um, I think they can go out there with no fear and the, the way that they've prepared um, playing at home. It's a big game for us and I think we, should, we can go in there with a lot of confidence. And you'd love going forward as well, I suppose. It's, it's put that kind of thing, any outside pressures to the back of their mind and just focus on the game. Oh, absolutely, and that, that, that's a key to it. And um, yeah, we've thrown young players in in the past who have done exceptionally well for us, and it does take a little bit of time. There's probably a couple of young players in the squad who are still developing, and, and they'll learn from the time with us. And we've already seen the, in the last couple of weeks um, a couple of those younger players just, just within, within two weeks. Just improve and and you know handle the differences in the intensity probably at training at this level. So that's that's been a, a real positive for us. We'll do a couple with Matt and then one with James and then we're done. Warren, just again on, on Cam Winnick, what have you seen that sort of tells you that he's ready to experience what he will on Saturday? Cardiff is not like at other stadiums, the build up to kick off, the anthems, the atmosphere. What tells you that he's ready for that? Um, nothing tells me yet. <laughs> um, it's kind of a little bit of a wait and see. I just, uh, he's, you, you watch someone at training and that's where you get a, you get a feel for it, for a player. He looks comfortable on the ball. He's good in the air. Um, and when we had our selection meeting, we just said, let's go for it. Uh, you know, let's not be afraid to expose someone at this level. Uh, I think he's going to be a player of the future. He's. Uh, he's got some good lines. He, like I said, he's got very good hands and got nice timing and stuff. And you can see that with players sometimes out there on the training pitch. And he, he just looks comfortable out there. And so you know, it was. It wasn't a difficult decision for us to make when you when you see a player, you think, yeah, he's going to be a really good player in the future. I'm just looking at it. The Six Nations a bit wider. You know, you've got a, England and Ireland coming up after this game away from home. Does that make it more important to get a result on Saturday? Yeah, it's always... The Six Nations is always about momentum. It's always about that first game and the fact that we are at home against uh, Scotland. Like I said, there's... Um, I would say there's always pressure because, you know, it's, it's about... It's a results business and it's about winning matches and you get that, that first game under your belt and get a win and then you get some confidence and momentum and... I said the next two games become really important, and then um, you know, the last two games at home. So, you know, I think we're pretty well aware, and I think the players are well aware, and they've prepared well, they've trained well, the attitude's been out outstanding. So, um, you know, we're under no illusions that it's, you know, it's going to be a tough game for us. But I said we can go in there and be excited about this young group of players who are. Who I'm confident when they put their jersey on, they understand the expectation and what it means to. To wear that, you know, that famous red jersey and play for Wales, and so that, those are the things that really excite me. And James, well, and because of we just mentioned pressure, because of Scotland's 22 year voyage from Cardiff and the nature of the squads, you see more pressures in that. Um, I, I look, I don't, I don't know. We've been, we've we've looked at at Scotland and looked at the games. Um, from the World Cup closely, but we've really focused on ourselves this week, and um, it was a tough, tough Six Nations. We were pleased with what we've done the last um, number of months in terms of the, the preparation, the build-up for the World Cup, and um, kind of, kind of mixed emotions with the World Cup in terms of winning our poll. We thought was was fantastic. Obviously, the performance against Australia, but we had an, we had an opportunity to get to the semi-finals, and we. We felt we let ourselves down and didn't quite take that opportunity. So we put last year's Six Nations behind us, and we're we're excited about you know this new this new challenge and this new group, and um, they'll probably come down as favourites, and 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 that's understandable. But uh, you know we're at home, and and we know how um, motivating that Cardiff crowd can be when they get behind the team. So. Uh, I think the boys are really looking forward to that. Would it be more, you know, stop and know that it's more intense when the roof shut? Do you think that might have been in their thinking when they wanted to open? Yeah, possibly. Maybe they 
but more comfortable and potentially playing in the wet weather conditions. I don't, I'm not sure. But the other expansive teams, was an the decision just for rugby? Possibly, yeah. Okay, we've all been there. Ireland in 2019, the last game of the Six Nations, you know, mm -hmm. wanting the reef open. It was pouring down with rain, so. Mm -hmm. Strange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys.